Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to completely disable the recommended items section on the start menu for Windows 11. This one right here. Although Microsoft have added the ability to decrease and increase the number of items that you see on this section through the settings app with these three new settings on the, on the latest preview builds of the next feature update for Windows 11, the company is still resisting to add an option to actually remove so users can fill the remaining space with pin items. However, it was just a matter of time until someone found a workaround to this problem. In Reddit, someone going by the going by the that Windows guy username was able to create a batch file that disables the recommended section in the start menu, which is this one right here. I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can check out this post and get the batch file as well. It is not perfect since it only works with the latest preview of Windows 11 in the Sutter Preview program. And after restarting the computer, the default settings will be restored to the start menu. But it works until either Microsoft decides to add an option to disable it or someone else creates another workaround that works permanently. Okay, here is how to disable the recommended section from the start menu on Windows 11. Before we dive in into these instructions, it is important to remind you that this is not a tutorial. It is just a video to show you that this is possible. That's it. If you decide to try this out, do it at your own risk and make sure to create a backup of your computer in case you need to roll back. Okay, to get started, this batch file only runs if the device has the debugging tools for Windows installed. So the first thing that we need to do is to download and install the Windows debugging tools from the Microsoft support website, which is this one right here. So we just need to download this, save it on the computer, and then we need to run that application. So I have already installed the debugging tools on this computer, but I can show you screenshots that I took for the installation and it only takes just a few clicks. On the first screen, you just need to click next. Then you can decide if, if you want to allow Microsoft to collect information about the installation, about this program, then click next, then just accept the license term and then you need to clear all the options and you only need to use the debugging tools for Windows and then just click the install button and then when everything is completed just click the close button and that will install the components that you need to run the script. Once the uh, debugging tools has been installed on your computer you want to create a text file anywhere on your computer. So in this case, I'm just going to create it on the desktop and I'm going to name it disable start recommendations. Then you want to open the file and then you need to head over to Reddit post and select the script. copy the text, paste it on the text file, save it, and actually you can save it as to save the file as a VAT file, but you can also close the text file and just click it to rename it and change the extension to VAT and click yes to change the extension. And now we have created the batch file. And now we can see that we have the recommended section right here. So you don't need to run it as administrator or anything. You just need to double click it. And that's it. Now when you open the start menu, you're going to see that the recommended section it's gone from the experience. Unfortunately, like I said before, after restarting the computer, the settings will be removed and the recommended section will reappear on the start menu. But one thing you can do to mitigate this issue is to create a scheduled task that it will run on a startup. So the VAT file will always run on a startup on your computer. And to do that, 
you want to open a star and look for that scheduler and then you want to right click and create a basic task just name the task anything you want that is descriptive such as disable recommended start menu then click next select when I log on option and then click next select the start our program option and click next then browse to the batch file select it click next and check this option to view the properties so we can change additional settings for this task in here we're just going to select the option to run with the highest privileges and then click OK and then we can test this by restarting the computer now we're going to sign in and as you can see the script run automatically and as you can see the start menu now is running without the recommended section it is also important to note that the script will run best if you don't have any additional user logged in in the computer and you don't have any applications running in the background and that's it that is one way to completely remove the recommended items section from the start menu on windows 11. remember to like the video share it leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing